okay so i think my screen is getting shared yes so see the same flow whether you are going to sell it in any okay what is it new thing that they had created oh i think okay so facebook is growing much faster they had created a new layout for creating the campaigns okay need to check whether the messages are working okay i'm sorry I think uh, Facebook had introduced a new layout just recently, might be from uh, 12 o'clock uh, from yesterday. I'm just checking out what is the new thing in Facebook. Oh. So now when you select settings for new campaign or edit settings for existing campaigns, you will always see the same streamlined flow. Okay. Website, do I have the app WhatsApp option? No. Okay, so okay, so this is the place that uh, we had left yesterday, and uh, you know this uh, uh, class has been already taken uh, on how to create a uh, ad, uh, you know, Facebook advertisement, Facebook ad uh, after creating the campaign and ad set. Okay, suppose if you want to, uh, you know, get to know about how to do this practically. We can have the practical session on this uh, particular ad chapter. So where we had left yesterday, uh, else we can go for the uh, audience segment and budgeting uh, that has been planned for today. Okay, so we'll be seeing uh, in detail about what are the options that are available in audience segment. Audience targeting. And we're going to see again. strategy. I mean, bidding strategy. Okay. So these are the two things that we're going to see now. Okay. Uh, because these two, these two are highly important when we are going to create a Facebook advertisement. Uh, these are the two things that are that is going to uh, you know deliver us the return on investment that we had planned for. So if you if you require a high return on investment, we have to optimize uh, the audience segment and also the bidding strategy. Okay, all right. So let us see how to do these things. So this audience uh, targeting uh, we can able to edit it in the Ad set, ad set option. So in the ad set, uh, we have the budget and scheduling as well as the audience segment. So let us complete the audience segment now. So one thing is uh, the audience. Uh, there are two options. One is if you already have saved a created an audience and we have saved it, those audience segments will be available here. Okay. If we are going to create a new one we will be using this create new audience option okay so here uh, this custom audience is something like you know if you have a 
a separate audience uh, specifically for us uh, we can able to uh, target those audience with the help of this custom audience okay for an example there are few people who are visiting my website visiting uh, uh, the business website uh, i want to target only the people who are visiting the business website so that can be possible with the help of this custom audience or otherwise suppose for an example i want to create i have a bunch of audience and i want to find the similar kind of audience from other location so that is possible okay so those kind of things we can able to create with custom audience option okay so let us explore how to do those things so uh, there is an option called create new so this create new is specifically belongs to the custom audience so we are going to create an audience segment and in this audience segment we are going to create a custom audience okay so i have chosen this create new i have two options one is custom audience and the other one is lookalike audience so lookalike audience in the sense i have a you know a bunch of audience with me and i want to find out the similar kind of audience from other location okay so those kind of things uh, will be coming under lookalike audience okay and what is a custom audience suppose i have a total email id of 1000 1000 members email id i want to send the campaign only to i want to run the advertisement only to those uh, audience so those kind of things will become a custom audience we have a audience and we want to run only for those audience so those things will be coming under this custom audience okay so right now i'm going to explore this audience segment i'm going to explore the custom audience segment In custom audience segment, uh, these are the available options that we can target for. Okay, so one is we can use our own sources. Okay, and the other one is we can use the Facebook sources, the sources from where we had generated the leads, or might be some uh, uh, you know uh, if we got some audience from Facebook page. So those things will come under use Facebook sources, and if we have separate uh, something away from uh, Facebook, those things will be available in use your own sources will be there okay use your sources are the things which are away from the facebook okay suppose for an example uh, we have a website and there are people who are coming to the website they might be in facebook or they might not be in facebook but still we can able to target them so those are the things which we have our own uh, audience uh, from the segment and uh, facebook source are, are something like you know people who are already there in the facebook and they had came and liked our page because of our advertisement because of our video because of our, uh, our organic promotions so those things will become the audience who are there already there in the facebook okay so let us explore uh, our own sources the first one is a website so this is uh, going to be the audience uh like for an example if someone has visited uh, the website right so we can able to target them uh, and we can able to show the advertisement only to them and that can be possible with the help of facebook pixel facebook pixel is a small script that we have to uh, place it in the uh, all pages of the website in the header file and once it is done then uh, you know we can able to run the advertisement for the people who had visited our website okay i will uh, you know uh, give you a brief about the how to do it with the facebook pixel so right now i had chosen the website uh, website targeting traffic so here uh, in order to target the website audience i required that particular script uh, to be there in the website okay so what it says track website conversions using pixel okay done so pixel name we can give any pixel name uh, anything regarding uh, our campaign or advertisement and check your website for easy setup options uh, okay i'm going to write here digital marketing consultant then i'm going to give the continue option okay so first thing is uh, i have to add the people to the audience segment okay who are the people that i'm going to add so do i require to add the people who had visited my website in last 10 days last 20 days or last uh, you know 90 days those can be configured here okay so here i had chosen the muller release pixel and there is a pixel id 
okay i have to implement this code in my website then only it can able to track right now it might not it could it could not able to track uh, we have to place this code in the website that we have and after that it will start to record all those things it will not be taking the previous data it will be taking from there from that place onwards so it will be uh, you know from that day onwards uh, if if we are going to check out this uh, website custom audience after 30 days we can able to take the audience who had visited our website okay all right so uh, what are the options that are available uh, with the pixels that we are going to do so one is uh, we can target all the people who had visited our website the other one is if someone specifically visited a particular page like contact us page or like for an example uh, you know our services page we can specifically target the people who had visited our particular web page and the third one is you know if some people who had visited our website for more than one minute or more than two minutes i want to target only those audience those specifications we can able to provide right now i'm going to give the visit visitors by time spent on the website uh, i just uh, wanted to know that uh, yes Samir? the signal like the track the like the people who visit the websites uh -huh. uh, so how would the their email ids come into that uh, thing okay so uh, their email ids will not be uh, shown to us uh, facebook pixel can able to track them uh, with the help of uh, their user behavior like for an example uh, if we had visited a website even the same thing google can also do so google has a login access already who had uh, who had browsed from the browser from the chrome uh, those data will be available with google database so if i had visited a website i might not enter any data any of my data to the website I might visit the website and I might came away. But by installing this plugin, it can able to get the data with the help of cookies, the website browser cookies. Suppose for an example, uh, it is for it is it is the uh, method of through which uh, you know identifying the people. Like if uh, I had I had browsed the Google and after that I had reached a particular website, I might logged in into the Chrome environment. Otherwise, I might already have a login details in my browsing history uh, which has the data where i had logged in so from that you know the my profile will be taken and the same profile will be matched with the audience in google or matched with the audience in facebook and for them the advertisement will be running so we will not be coming to know uh, who had visited our website or uh, you know who is that uh, particular person we will not be getting to know but it is a kind of retargeting uh, with the help of the script code that we are going to place it in our website Okay, fine, Samir. Done. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Okay. Uh, then visitors by time time spent. Uh, I'm going to uh, you know uh, give the option of uh, top twenty five percentage is the default option which has been selected. So let me to uh, give ten percentage. So that means you know people who had spent the more amount of time, the top ten percentage. I'm going to target them. Okay, I'm going to target only the in this people who had visited my website okay so i had given that uh, had given that time along with that i can able to choose a particular web page in my website but at this point i might not able to uh, you know provide because the pixel is not uh, implemented but anyway uh, there are two options one is that i can able to directly type the url otherwise i can type a, a keyword or something like a website slug if that particular word is there in the url then that particular website a particular web page will be taken for an example i have a slug and uh, it has something like you know training and under the slug training i might have any training or any class or anything i might have some 10 pages or 15 pages all the pages which are under the training uh, which are having the train a uh, keyword training it will be targeted if i had given digital what will happen so all the web pages that is that is having the keyword digital will be targeted if my primary uh, website name itself is digital marketing then all the pages in the particular website will be uh, you know considered for this uh, considered for this top 10 uh, uh, visitors uh, who had spent on the particular website okay so it is just like the word which is going to be there on the url that we are going to uh, that we are going to use okay done Okay, so next one is I just require to give some name for this audience. I'm going to give it as website traffic. Description is just for you know the purpose that we are going to create. I'm 
I'm going to give the create audience option. Right now, you know, the pixel is not installed, so it might not work, but still it has the process of process of how it is, you know, how it is going to work and how the things are there. Okay, so your custom audience uh, was created. Okay, it uh, it may take a few minutes for us to finish matching your customers to people on Facebook and we will notify you when this process is finished. Okay, done. So what are the next steps that are available? So I can able to create a lookalike audience from the audience who had visited my website. That is one option. Otherwise, I can create a separate advertisement for the audience uh, segment whom I had chosen right now. Okay, so this segment is specifically about, uh, you know, how to uh, create an audience segment. So we will be doing all those things later on. Okay, so we had created an audience. This audience will target only the people who had visited the website and who had visited in the last 10 days and who had spent a lot, a high amount of time in the website. So I'm going to target only those audience and if they are uh you know results has matched with the if their uh, details has been matched with facebook profiles so i will be i will be you know targeting only uh, to those people and by that way you know i will be spending i will be uh, you know saving a lot of funds because i'm not uh, you know showing the advertisement to thousand unknown members i'm just going to target only the people whom uh, i had who, who had already uh, you know came to the website and that number will be highly narrow and they will, they will be highly interested Okay, so this is one method through which we can able to run a, a custom audience and read using the method of retargeting. Okay, this is a retargeting advertisement. Then, so uh, I had chosen the website, uh, you know, custom audience as website here. And similarly, let us go and explore the other audience segments that are available. So one is website and the next one I'm going to choose is customer list. So this customer list are, uh, you know, the audience uh, whom we already have and those audience, if they are already present in Facebook, uh, we can able to target them uh, with the help of same remarketing concept. So one is through the Facebook pixel, uh, we had take, taken the data from our website and we had shown the advertisement to them. The next one is we have a custom audience list with us and these people we will be having, we will be checking it, checking it out uh, such a way that whether those audience are there in the Facebook and if they are going to, if they are there, they, we are going to target them. Okay, let us see how to do that. Okay, so what it says, add your ad account to a business. To create custom audience from customers list, you must add this ad account to a business. Okay. So uh, that means I have, I have to add this account to a business, but the problem is I can't be able to add an account to a business, which is a prepaid, which is if I am, if I'm running a prepaid account, I cannot be able to add a particular ad account to a business. Okay. But instead we will go for the business manager and we will create a new ad account from there. We will explore how to create a, uh, you know, how to create a, a customer's list, customer's list based advertisement. Okay. Let me to try if it is possible, I can able to add. Yes, so prepay accounts cannot be added, so we can't able to add. So if uh, you know we are running a postpaid account, then we can add. And once an account has been chosen as a prepaid, then we can't able to convert to a postpaid. I'm saying about the payment part. So similarly, if we had chosen a postpaid, then we can't able to convert to a prepaid account okay all right so we will do one thing we will explore that part using the business manager's account and we are going to create a new ad account there and we will be running the campaign okay let us see that Right now, I'm going to switch the accounts.
okay done so this v solutions uh, same business account i'm accessing through tanige rajmai account i mean one of my account of course okay so uh, in the ads account i'm going to uh, create a new ad account okay create a new ad account ad account name i'm going to give the name as dmc ad account currency i'm going to set it as inr or else is it okay with usd uh, let me to go with usd option itself okay why usd when inr is available uh, i had chosen usd because if i am planning to promote some uh, global audience uh, i just believe that you know facebook will not disturb me that's why with inr itself we can promote to global audience not a problem uh but sometime it will create some uh, you know unknown error that uh, our your currency is inr so that we can't able to do promotions for uh, this country or something like that suppose our audience is local only not a problem inr is fine i had created uh, for the complete uh, india uh, advertisements with inr itself inr can do well not a problem but when you use the inr uh, facebook you know uh, it will uh, centralize our account to india So I just just uh, just for safety purpose, I had created with the UST. With the INR itself, you can create. That is one. In some cases, INR is better because okay. uh, we are running an advertisement in India, so that uh, the budget and minimum ad spend, so those things will be of you know of lower uh, value uh, will be considered if you are having INR based ad account. Okay. Then, so uh, who will this ad account be used for? This is for my business. so we can so we can we solutions okay so i'm going to give the permissions right now i'm going to give the permission for all i've been access to all assign then that account is ready okay so open in ads manager okay so um right now i'm going to create the new audience traffic i think the new layout is available only for a few of the accounts which facebook trust i think okay so this is the place where i will be setting up the account and uh, right now i am in the business manager and uh, this ad account i can create for india and might be the next one i can create for some other country okay india currency is us dollars and uh, you know asia kolkata okay what are the other things just name india might not be required okay okay whether the whatsapp is available great so i have the option to send a direct whatsapp messages by send by creating an account in uh, business business manager also oh, this is what you were saying yesterday that that was not available in whatsapp yes. yesterday yes 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 this is what i'm saying yesterday as well it is it oh, is ah, yes it has been added to yes because this ad account has been added to a business settings Uh, I have the okay. uh, options which are available. So if we, that's uh, you know, I, I might already told. I think if we have ad account in the business settings, we will be having a lot of features enabled. So that will help us to you know run some specified advertisement, uh, like the customers list and all those things. And uh, as well, suppose uh, this ad account will be blocked very soon. If we are having, if we are increasing our budget, then we have to submit our documents. Then it will be activated one more time. So you know, uh, in order to ensure that Facebook is 
uh, you know facebook is uh, securely running by a business if we had given some other name and we don't have a document then we might not able to recover the account okay so this is uh, traffic which i can able to redirect to the audience who had visited uh, that i mean who are uh, you know who are going to react with the advertisement uh, whatsapp number not connected anything else then i had to connect the whatsapp number with this particular digital marketing consultant page connect your whatsapp account to your page so people can able to send okay, i'm going to give are you getting an account Yeah, zero nine six three three. Okay, connected WhatsApp. Uh, Digital marketing consultant is now going to get with WhatsApp. That's great. So, what is going to happen now? WhatsApp information, including names and phone numbers, is subject to the data of users restrictions in our business model. User business ads must also comply with the uh, WhatsApp commerce policy. Okay, not a problem. Okay, so had uh, given this page is connected to a WhatsApp business. account number okay and manage connections in page settings okay uh, that's fine that's fine so what will happen if suppose when people uh, had clicked the advertisement when people clicks on the advertisement a message thread with your business uh, will open in whatsapp your ad will be shown to people who are more likely to open whatsapp so that means when someone uh, clicks the advertisement Uh, an automatic automatically their whatsapp will be opened from their mobile phone and they will be about to send a message so if we target only the mobile phones this will become a high option for us uh, by sending them a customized message like their whatsapp number directly they can able to reach us from there we can reply them back so that they will become a potential client we can immediately we can able to speak with them rather than whether they had visited the website or not so those things we might not be knowing but if we have a direct whatsapp thread they can able to directly speak with us okay what i what i understand is like mm -hmm. on the facebook okay uh, it is repeat what you said right now like uh, the connection within facebook and whatsapp uh -huh. uh, like uh, abhi aapne ye kara na ki uh -huh. you had done the whatsapp so when somebody sees it on facebook okay the ad Mm -hmm. He sees it on Facebook, okay. and he clicks on it. Okay. So, he, does he get a message on WhatsApp also? That's what you mean. Uh, almost, almost. I mean, I am telling you. If uh, someone had clicked the particular, uh, they are in the Facebook or they are in the Instagram. Let us say they had seen the advertisement and they had clicked the advertisement. Immediately, their WhatsApp will be opened in their phone okay. itself. Their WhatsApp will be opened, and uh, from there, you know. Uh, automated filled up message will be there hi i am interested in this product uh, no, a filled up automated message will be there what he has to do is he, he just required to give the send option so by that way uh, a direct whatsapp to whatsapp communication will be established okay fine right? without saving the number they can able to directly send the message to us uh, with the help of this whatsapp uh, you know promotion okay okay that's great okay so right now i think you know this whatsapp explorations i can able to uh, might be i can able to do it a bit later so right now let me to continue with the same thing uh, what we are uh, you know reading or studying uh, i had chosen the website option to create a new audience custom audience custom audience customers list okay so uh, you know this is something like uploading the excel file with all the data that we have primarily what we require is email id and phone number okay whichever matches 
uh, with the Facebook account, uh, Facebook people who are uh, you know using here, uh, they uh, they are those uh, you know data will be uh, matched with the Facebook audience, and from there you know we can able to uh, run the advertisement only for them. Okay, so what are the things which are available? Your customer list is a CSV or text file that contains information used to build your audience. Identifiers uh, in your customers list are used to match with Facebook users. The more identifiers you provide, the better the match rate will be. So these are the identifiers. Include at least one main identifier. We recommend including multiple main identifiers to increase your match rate. So that means uh, they are requesting for each, every, each and every person to upload their phone number as well as their email ID. And if that is possible, their Facebook page user ID. So if we provide those details uh, through the Excel file, then it can able to find out the exact exact person. And from there, you know, uh, we can able to target them. Okay, done. Then uh, here we have the include more identifier option is there. We recommend that you that you use at least one main uh, identifier along with these more other identifiers to increase the chances of getting a better match rate. Okay. Uh, anyway, that is not a problem. We can of course uh, provide these details if it is available with us. If it is not, not a problem. Okay. Uh, suppose even you can use some uh, data scrapping method. So you can purchase the data from others and we can directly run an advertisement uh, for those audience uh, through Facebook. And by that way, by this way, you know, we will be targeting the advertisement only to a narrow audience and which can able to give us a lot of much better benefit. Okay. Uh, for an example, so let me to show you some advertisement, you know, I had registered. Yes, here, here, here is the person I had registered for this, uh, you know, online uh, workshop and I had uh, viewed the workshop and this advertisement is keep on revolving wherever I go. Okay, climb your 11 in one course now and start learning how to build, etc. So this advertisement is, uh, you know, following me wherever I go. So these are created with the help of remarketing. These are created with the help of remarketing. And similarly, if I go to some other place, for an example, let me to go and check fonts, uh, uh, allbestfonts.com. I'm looking for some font. The same person had came here as well. Become a best, become a digital marketing coach today. Okay, the same advertisement and same uh, sentence. So this advertisement is following in Google as well. Okay, the reason is uh, these are created with the help of free marketing tools. So once the remarketing is done, my email ID is with them, my phone number is with them. They can able to create a remarketing and they can able to uh, make the follow-ups. So this will you know reduce the uh, manpower uh, follow-ups practically. You know in order to convey the same thing again and again or the ways to make a call to them and to check out you know how to uh, what to say uh, you know, convey them that uh, you have already visited us and etc instead they can run this kind of free marketing advertisements and remarketing advertisement are highly cost effective there won't be any much of cost to display the advertisement to the specified audience because we are going to uh, narrow down the audience uh, so that you know the impressions will be less so the cost will be less as well okay Done. So these are the things which we require to be uploaded and this can be uploaded with the help of uh, I think we have to go to the next option. So this download list template is going to give you a, a you know template a kind of uh, example format by which we can able to make the optimization and import from MailChimp is like MailChimp is a email marketing uh, tool where through which we will be marketing to a bulk amount of emails importing from mailchimp will help us to reach the same audience from the same email id into the facebook okay so right now uh, let us go to the next option okay so does your list include a column for customer value customer value is a value associated with your customers based on how much and how often they spend towards your business adding customer value as a column in your customer list allows you to create a value based lookalike later on to find people who are similar to your most valuable customers okay suppose if we uh, you know it says that if we create a value and uh, the, those audience will be considered as you know high priority audience and we can able to separately target the lookalike audience for the people who are having a higher value uh, to the category that we had created and I think, you know, this particular value chapter, I even had not explored. Uh, 
uh, might be a new option or might be you know something uh, uh, which is uh, helpful for the campaign that we are going to create but this is what it is it says uh, it, the customers will be valuable by including this value column okay and then we have include customer value in your customer list and then next one is continue with the customer list that doesn't include customer value so right now let me to explore this include customer value in your customer list itself so what it says requirements for using value based customer audience to use custom audience you must be an advertiser agency or a data provider acting on behalf of an advertiser or a marketing api or custom uh, audience api partner okay and then advertisers and those who run ads on their behalf are uh, ultimately responsible for acknowledging their permissions to share and use people's data okay you are accepting terms on behalf of v solutions okay so i'm going to give the accept option done okay so uh, i think uh, we have to make the upload and uh, let us explore whether that value option is there or not okay this is a csv i believe this will be helpful i'm going for the next option okay so choose your customer value column select the column in in your list that represents customer value you can get better results if you provide a varied range of customer values so i think we have to explore more if we are, if you are interested in uh, you know uh, this value column uh, i don't think it's uh, so simple so it's taking uh, much of a time so let us go for the option which is you know continue without a continue continue with the customers list that does not have a customer value save accept option after that you know here i have to upload the file or else i can make i can also able to make a copy and paste option if you have a bunch of email ids with me okay so these are the things which it uh, which it had mapped and it has it had shown us so one is it had matched the phone numbers and it had matched the email ids so is it does it match it properly these are the examples and it is right okay so right now i'm going to go for the upload and create option okay it looks like there are still 17 unmapped identifiers in your file finding mapping the data to improve the match rate it might it might not be required at this point let me talk, go for the upload anyway option okay so what is the data it has 97 rows uploaded okay uh, your audience is almost ready for your campaign okay that is fine so the same options i have you know uh, create a lookalike audience otherwise create advertisement with this uh, with the help of uh, you know what the audience segment that i had uploaded so this is how you know we are going to we are upload we, we will be uploading a list of email ids or phone numbers that we have and from where you know we will be creating a separate advertisement okay once this advertise once the audience segment has been created in the custom audience then we can uh, we can use this uh, options like location age or segment for uh, uh, additional filters and then we can go for the uh, you know save this audience option to uh, save this audience and we can create the campaigns as rest of the things as we had already planned so the advertisement will be running only for the selected audience okay so let us explore the rest of the things as well okay and then app activity it is something like you know if we have an app or game by using the integration methods we can able to target the people who had uh, visited the app using the app so we do not have an app at this moment so we will uh, skip this option and let us go for this offline activity the offline activity is you know the audience who had visited uh, the web store uh, like uh, you know for an example uh, web store or i'm sorry not a web store uh, the shop or might be some uh, uh, what to say some sh some uh, uh, what is the name you know a trade centers trade fairs somewhere if we had collected a lot of people those audience we can able to map it here through the offline activity okay so let us explore what are the options so one is default offline event for uh, v solutions okay so that is the only option which is available people who interacted offline uh, in last 30 days okay
i think uh, if it is offline it uh, it is mentioning the off page activity i think uh, might be apart from uh, okay uh, i thought it is website but from your events and uh, add payment info add to cart add to wish list complete registration these are a part of a website um okay so i think uh, you know uh, these offline is mentioning the things which are uh, the activities which had happened in the website rather than uh, it is online uh, it has been happened in the website uh, in the website which has been uh, uh, the audience who had uh, made some transaction or visited some uh, added some products through the card so those audience you know we can able to target separately so those audience has been mentioned here as offline activity okay your audience custom audience was selected and it might take a few minutes to finish up but how did i how did it created i'm uh, you know yet to just a minute so what it is uh, create an audience of people who have interacted with your business in store over the phone or by other offline channels okay then uh, why it is showing only the options which has been people who interacted offline and uh, it gives me the options of from your events add payment info add cart complete registration contact okay let me to say the contact uh done and uh, if i give some name and it directly creates the audience but where we can able to upload the details it may take a few minutes for us to finish up matching with the customers to people of facebook okay but i had not added anything okay so uh, well uh, you know i think uh, this chapter has to be explored some uh, you know some more in detail uh, might be facebook uh, will do any, any any activity at any time uh, we have to explore what is the offline activity options that are available with us how to create a custom audience from offline activity you can create your audience in two ways uh, by selecting any you will include or exclude people who met one of your criteria during a specific time period for example you can include people who purchased from your shop in the past 7 days or people who placed an order over the phone in the past 30 days by selecting all uh, you will include or exclude people who met all your criteria during a specific time period for example you can exclude people who visited your business in the past 30 days and redeemed a coupon in the past 60 days uh, you can add rules for uh, value source frequency and other parameters okay so all these things are fine uh, but uh, where's the place where i can able to add the data okay anyway i think it might not uh, people who interacted offline okay i think it has been already chosen uh, people who interacted offline has been already chosen but by after after choosing already chosen i can't able to go for the create Okay, I think I have to give the name. Yes, and I'm going to create the audience. Does it has no? It doesn't have any option. Fine then. Okay, so uh, let me to explore this, and I will get back to you on how to create some offline uh, conversions uh, through the Facebook advertisement. And uh, let us see what other things that are available apart from this. So apart from this, I can able to use the Facebook sources. Okay, so Facebook sources. What are the things that are available? Uh, one is, you know, uh, if I'm uh, uh, running a uh, advertisement, uh, I can able to uh, target the audience who had uh, watched my video, watched my video which I had promoted in Facebook. The other thing is, people who had visited my Instagram 
uh, business page uh, i can able to target them next is lead form suppose if i am running a lead campaign and people who had filled up the form and uh, you know i want to target only the audience who had filled up the form or who had opened the form or who had opened it but who had not submitted so those audience i can able to configure with the help of this lead form options and events it is supposed to be you know interacted with one of your event on facebook that is if i had created an event something like in the facebook i can able to create multiple events so if anyone had interacted with the events i can able to target as well and what is it instant experience create an audience of people who opened your instant experience on facebook or instagram it is an additional features which uh, facebook offers uh, newly uh, through some uh, you know uh, something like you know uh, real uh, sharing might happen i'm yet to explore that and what is the next thing is facebook page so facebook page means you know audience who had interacted with the facebook page i can able to target them and shopping so uh, suppose uh, you know if i have some uh, products which i am promoting through the organic promotions if some people had who had visited the page and they are about to be making the shopping of a particular product i can able to target them okay so for a sample i'm going to choose this facebook page and i'm going to uh, i'm going to see what are the things that are available you know these will be giving us the options of the same same things like in the last 365 days or people who had visited in the real uh, re recently or who had clicked the post or who had watch the post or who had sent a message in the pay, a message in the page so i can specify i can specifically target a particular segment and i can able to create a audience segment for them so i'm going to create the uh, option which is people who engaged with any post or ad in the last 365 days and i'm going to give the name as something and i'm going to create the audience that's all okay so uh, this is how you know we can able to create a custom audience uh, uh, using the custom audience option we can able to create a uh, audience segment who are not there available in uh, in a, you know uh, in a market but we can able to upload from the specific locations like the website that we are running or from the contact database that we are having or from the or, or targeting the people who had visited our facebook page or people who had liked our page or uh, you know engaged with the post so we can specifically target those audience with the help of this custom audience segment okay so similarly let us explore what is the look alike audience okay so here i have to choose the audience so i had created a lot of audience so one is you know uh, using the custom audience one is the using the custom audience i had already created a list of audience so i am going to use the customer list So in this way, I can upload all the data uh, which uh, I which are the customers that we already have. Okay, mapped done. Upload anyway. Okay, so I had created an audience now. Right now, I'm going to create a. Uh, create a lookalike audience. I'm going to find people who are, you know, let me to read, find people similar to the audience who just created by creating a lookalike audience. So I'm going to ch uh, check this create new audience and I'm going to give the location as, I'm going to give the location as, these are the data which I had extracted for California. So I'm going to give the data as India. Okay, so all the places in India and in this India, I had chosen the option you know, suppose for an example, number of lookalike uh, audience that I can able to create multiple audience. Just give me a minute. Okay. I uh, hope uh, you can able to hear me. I had just got a network call. Let me to check whether I am online. Yes, I'm online. Okay. So, uh, you know, the select audience size. So this is something like, you know, one is the, we can able to create multiple audience. Suppose for an example, lookalike audience, I want to create an uh, audience segment from the percentage of 3% to 8% and one more thing is from 0 to 1%. So it will become a two lookalike audience. I can separately run the advertisement for both, uh, both the, uh, two versions of lookalike audience okay so it is like uh, you know uh, let me to read out the person uh, read out the paragraph for you 
audience size ranges from 1% to 10% of the combined population of your selected location. A 1% lookalike consists of the people who are most similar to your lookalike audience. And uh, increasing the percentage increases, creates a bigger, broader uh, audience. So the, that means what, suppose if I had chosen the one percentage and uh, within this one percentage, uh, the people who, whoever I had chosen, they will be of highly, uh, you know, having a similarity to the data uh, which I had shared with the Facebook. So uh, it has given me an estimate reach of, you know, 3700000 people. It's a really a huge uh, volume of number that we can able to reach with the audience who has a similar profile. Okay, suppose in case if uh, instead of this one percentage, if I had given some uh, five percentage, uh, then the uh, number of audience that I will be, I can able to, I will be reaching, it will, will become much higher. Okay. If I use uh, multiple, you know, let me to show for uh, creating a two lookalike audience. And for the first audience, I'm going to create from zero to five percentage. And for the second audience, I'm going to create from five to nine percentage. So that means what this five percentage to nine percentage or broader audience separate campaign will be created. And this within five percentage, they are narrow audience separate campaign will be created. Okay. So by this way, we can able to create multiple uh, audience segment and we can create a, we can run a multiple audience uh, using the uh, lookalike option. So, uh, you know, I had chosen two audience, uh, audience, lookalike audience segment now, and now I'm going to create the audience option. Okay, so I had created the lookalike audience and uh, these are uh, not required. Let me to close this one. Okay, so I had created the audience segment here and uh, you know, this, uh, the rest of the things are, you know, uh, as usual, we can uh, choose the location and age, gender, and we can able to create the audience. Okay, otherwise we can directly create the campaign. Okay, so this results, you know, uh, are not exact because we had chosen the lookalike audience. So it, it uh, could not able to produce, uh, it could not able to show the data that we had, uh, you know, we had uploaded. So we will, uh, let us omit this part for the lookalike audience and we can continue with the creation of advertisement part. And the rest of the things, you know, it is almost, uh, it is almost going to be the same, like how we had created previously. So those data will be the same uh, and we will be completing an ad and we'll be running the advertisement. Okay, so uh, these are the things that we had discussed today. So one is um, yes. This uh, look like audience look like audience will be from zero to in percentage okay more percentage broader the targeted audience Okay, and then custom audience, what are the options that we had seen? Email, phone number, then FB, page, action, Instagram, page, interaction. Then a form action. Then website interaction. So these are the things which are important. And then we had seen a few more uh, wherever uh, it is uh, you know required for us. We can able to apply this. Okay. Uh, fine then. So let us do one thing. Uh, let us wind up for the today's session. And uh, tomorrow we will explore about uh, bidding 
uh, bidding strategies and what are the bidding strategies and the options that are available and then uh, you know if it is possible we will uh, try this by live and uh, we will go for the uh, you know uh, concurrative uh, uh, next chapters like uh, creating uh, a reporting of how to make some reports in facebook and uh, we will be seeing some live case studies as well okay and uh, if you have anything to ask me right now if you have any doubts that you want me to explain uh, we can use this time uh, to uh, you know clarify the doubts Uh, hi, Nasreen. Yeah. So, uh, I just want to know, okay, like, first we have to create that list before uploading that thing. We have to create the list of the people. Uh, yes, we, we have In to... Audience. Yes, that is right. We have to first create that list, then we have to upload that into the list. Okay, okay. Yes, thing. Fine. Okay, then, okay. So, uh, like in uh, in my account, okay. there is an issue. I am unable mm -hmm. to make the payment there. Every time, even when I am sharing this account details, also, it is not accepting. Okay, in Facebook? Okay. Yeah, in Facebook. Okay, even if you provide the payment details, it is not accepting. Yeah, it's not accepting. Okay. It was something about it because unable, I am unable to do any ads from that account. Okay. Anyway, I have created the new account, but that one, the, uh, that account, you know, the one which we, I have, it has more number of people okay. in that account. So, but mm -hmm. uh, they have blocked my listing. I am trying to make the payment, but they are mm -hmm. not accepting any payment. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay, fine, Nazreen. I think uh, I have to make a check out on this part. If you are free, you can uh, share me the screen. I can able to check that and I can able to, you know, try to update you what is the problem. No okay. Shall, shall I share it now? Yes, yes, you can share now ah. and, I, and let me to have a check. I, I'll just open my account and share it. Okay, so, sure, sure. Okay. 